My name is Glenn Abbott, and I'm the richest man in Buffalo. But to understand my story, you have to go back to the beginning of my wonder years. In 1994, the very last summer of my childhood, the summer I turned 32 and became a man. O.J. Simpson couldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> Look for the real killers, you stupid <laughs> Good afternoon, dear. What's new? Oh, not too much. Not too much. Oh! Finished the TV Guide crossword puzzle in 49 seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, personal best. For you, honey. Isn't that great, sweetheart? Shut up. <laughs> Son, I'm worried about you. You're spending more and more time in your room every day. I'm working on a book, Dad. You know that. An action-filled yarn with lots of heart. <laughs> Cut the crap. There's no book and there never has been. Wow. Dad, you know what? Frankly, I find that a little insulting. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, what's the title? Mm, moon over Ecuador. <laughs> every year it gets worse. First you had to check your pulse every two seconds. Then you decided you could only use the crapper downstairs. Then you just lay in bed all last summer obsessed about the death of Hervé Villachez. Hervé Villachez! <laughs> Honey, that was so sad. He shot himself in his itty-bitty little midget chest. <laughs> and... ...two decades, but not in a sexual way, a poignant way. A spiritual way. I haven't seen my sweet Allison since I was 14. You look radiant. <laughs> uh, so do you. I just got my hair done. <laughs> it's even more lustrous and beautiful than yours. There's another one that goes in the back bedroom. Great. You look radiant. What? Uh, who are you? Why are you in my... Oh, my God. Glenn Abbott? Glenn Abbott? Wow. Oh, you look... You look good. I just got my hair done. Oh. Oh. No, get it? I said that to you at the game, remember? October 11th, 1976. So what brings you back? Uh, well, actually, my mother's sick. That's so great. <laughs> that you're going to take care uh, of her. Yeah. And we're going to be neighbors again. You still live at home? <laughs> Yeah, uh, just on weekdays, or some weekends. Um, I'm taking care of my mom, too. Oh, I'm sorry. What's wrong with her? She has the Alzheimer's? <laughs> well, that must be hard for you. Oh, well, you know, it's no picnic, but, uh, God, on her good days, I just feel like singing. <laughs> oh, why don't you come and say hi, Josh? What, well, is that one of the movers? <laughs> My son, Josh. Oh, I see. Where's his father? <laughs> I'm afraid that didn't work out. I am so sorry to hear that, Allison. <laughs> yeah. Oh, will you excuse me?
with me for one second. Oh. So, what are you nervous about going to a new school or something? <sighs> school sucks. <laughs> Just a bunch of phonies and jerks and anti Semitic janitors. <laughs> The bathrooms there are obscene. Do you think you can get cancer from a toilet seat? Yeah, totally. Of course you can. <laughs> hey, what are you at? 110. Pfft, cake. Sometimes, when I'm really nervous, like when a janitor is painting a swastika on my locker, <laughs> or something, I get it to like 220. Your heart doesn't burst? Yeah, but you know. I just walk it off. <laughs> you ever check your urine? Only all the time. <laughs> I'm Josh. I'm Glenn. <laughs> 220. Wow. That was amazing. Josh never takes to adults, especially since the divorce. It was. It was real hard on him. Yeah, but he did the right thing, Allison. Mm. Your husband probably molested him. <laughs> you know, I don't know what I ever even saw in the... Donnie. You know, I actually think he was intimidated by the fact that I'm a doctor. Well, you're a doctor? Yeah. I mean, but if I was a street mime, I think that would have intimidated him, too. He was the laziest man I have ever met. He used to just lie around the house all day, just eating bananas and watching TV. Ugh. A shiftless bum, you know? I mean, a total loser, just a real zero. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. Um, so, Glenn, what are you up to? <laughs> I'm getting a job. <laughs> Hotel Concierge? What the hell is that? Why don't you get a job as an impressionist? <laughs> what? Glenn used to do the most wonderful impressions of Howard Cosell and Richard Nixon. You could be on David Letterman. <laughs> I'm here with heavyweight pugilist Richard Nixon. Oh, my God, that's dead on. Here, right here. Cashier at Burger King. Bring me home some fries. Ma. <laughs> Infrastructure coordinator at Black and Decker. <laughs> You were always so good at infrastructure. <laughs> infrastructure coordinator. I have big news, Allison. I'm the infrastructure coordinator at Black & Decker. Oh, Glenn. You're the 100% opposite of Donnie. I love you. Let's get married so you can comb my hair and touch my cans. <laughs> No. <laughs> Not on me. Tell me about yourself. Oh. Okay. Uh, I like football, jazz. Um, favorite actor, Steven Weber. He's a real chameleon. I understand he's a song and dance man, too. Please get out. Already? You hound. What's her name? I don't know. I saw her in the video store yesterday, but she looks like a brook or a Vivica. Sounds sultry. I stared at her for three minutes. She caught me looking, so I ran away. Well played. Okay. Okay, the dance has begun. What's wrong? I'm never going to see her again. Hey. 
Don't talk like that. She took out a video, right? Yeah. Well, she's got to bring it back. <laughs> You're a genius, man. <laughs> OK. OK, when Brooke or Vivica gets here, we just need an opening line. Um, how about, are you new in town? And if not, from where do you originally hail, madam? <laughs> not bad. <laughs> whoa, 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 I've got it. Do you know CPR? Because you just took my breath away. Wow, that's spectacular. <laughs> I feel really good about it. I saw it last week on Party of Five. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Malcolm X, huh? I, uh, I hear that really sticks it to the honkies. <laughs> uh, yeah, I heard it's kind of good. Do you know CPR? Because you just took my breath away. <laughs> That's kind of cheesy. Then how come it was on party of five? <laughs> Tomorrow, six o'clock, you're coming over for dinner and a movie. And who knows? Maybe some charades. <laughs> You're weird. I'm well aware of that. <laughs> no, I, I meant weird in a good way. Look, my name's Vivica. <laughs> You're the man! I'm the man! <laughs> this is bullcraft. I'm so out of here. I can make five fifty an hour at Blockbuster. <laughs> Blockbuster will chew you up and spit you out, Opie. <laughs> hey, aren't you looking for a job? Oh, I probably don't have a chance. I didn't finish college. <laughs> My best friend wants a job. Are you a pedophile, sir? <laughs> God, no. But congratulations, sweetie. You got the job. <laughs> Did you see me in there? Cause you just took my breath away. I killed with that line. <laughs> Slater, I did. Hey, it was my line. It was Scott Wolf's. Well, I quoted it. <laughs> Why aren't you happy for me? I'm happy you got a job. I know, it's just that, well, it's humiliating, okay? You're like half my age, you already got your dream girl, and it's gonna be another Saturday night alone for me. Tell you what, champ. Why don't we double? A double day, huh? That would be cool. I could ask my history teacher something. She's kind of cute. She's black. Is that OK? No. I mean, I mean, it's just that there's kind of someone I hadn't. Oh, hey, guys. Whoa, were you just like doing surgery or something? <laughs> Actually, I bought these at a costume shop the other day. I was hoping it made me look smart. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sweetie. Ma, hmm. guess what? What? I got a date. <gasps> oh, my God, honey, that, that is terrific. Um, where'd you meet her? At the video store with Glenn. You should have seen me, Ma. I was oh. on fire. Every line of Maserati. <laughs> <laughs> well, I believe it. You can be very charismatic, honey. Oh, and... Glenn got a great job. Oh, that's fantastic, Glenn. Where? I'm at the um, infrastructure coordinator at Black & Decker. <laughs> wow, good for you. Uh, will you excuse me? I'm just going to go check on my mom. You like my mother. So totally shut up. <laughs> Glenn loves my mother. Glenn loves my mother. <laughs> oh, hey, that was fast, Mom. <laughs> Ma, listen. My date's coming over for dinner tomorrow. Oh, and Glenn's going to be joining us, too. Is that okay? Um, you, um, want Glenn to have dinner with you and your date? No, that would be awkward. Why don't you join us? You busy? <laughs> Poor kid. He is just so nervous. He doesn't want to be alone. Isn't that just the cutest? <laughs> well... Well, I guess we can remember what it was like to be 14, right? Yeah, God. Oh, we were so young and carefree, huh? Didn't have the adult pressures we have now, what with the uh, 
rat races and <laughs> war in Nicaragua <laughs> and the ozone layer and... Uh, well, it looks like we got ourselves a double date, huh? <laughs> at the table, and we women folk will go and get the grub. I don't think I can go through with this. I might cancel. What? They'll be back in two seconds. I've been talking to some kids at school. They say Vivek has really been around. Oh. What the hell are you so worried about, okay? My date's a divorcee, which means she definitely goes all the way. No offense. I'm not taking it. We have brought condoms? I don't think so. What if they want to make out with us? Okay. We're gonna need a signal, you know, just in case. Okay, um, we'll just scratch our noses or something? What if they're really itchy? Ah, touche. <laughs> okay, if I want to be alone with your mother, I'll hum the theme to Growing Pains, and you just sit. Red alert, red alert. <laughs> All right. Dig in, boys. So, Vivica, are you from around here? No, actually, I, I just moved here from Montreal. Oh. Montreal, eh? <laughs> um, that reminds me of a joke. What do you call a French Canadian who flies a plane? Josh. Uh, I don't know what. A pilot, you racist. <laughs> Really funny. Thank you, hon. You're very sweet. <laughs> so, what do you think of the uh, politics? <laughs> In what sense? Uh, like our new president. What do you think of him? Clinton? I like him. He's smart as hell. He has progressive ideas. He seems to be a good family man. Yeah. <laughs> I voted for him. I vote. So, Glenn, how's work? Huh? A Black & Decker? Oh, uh... Is anything wrong? Yeah, yeah, it's just, I've got kind of a major infrastructure headache down there at the plant. Oh, that's too bad. What happened? Um, our comptroller shot himself. Oh, my God, that's horrible. Oh, Ed had a lot of demons. It was a blessing, really. <laughs> so, Vivica, um, Josh tells me you've been around. If you get any on the couch, trust me, I'm a bigger slob than any of you. Oh, my God, I'm sure that's not true. <laughs> okay, gang, let's see what's on. Home Improvements on ABC, Wings is on NBC, Chicago Hopes on CBS, and there's an all-new Herman's Head coming up next on Fox. <laughs> Some events change you, make you look deep inside your own house and see if it's in order. Watching O.J. flee the police that hot summer eve, I realized how far I too had fled from decency, honesty, integrity. I too was on a slow speed chase from the truth. <laughs> Tell me that smile again. Um. Allison, I haven't been honest with you. Oh? I'm not really an infrastructure coordinator. Okay. I work at a video store. I'm so sorry. 
Glenn, there's nothing wrong with working in a video store. No, actually, I think that if you're over 30 and you don't have Down syndrome, <laughs> then there is. No, Glenn, it's an honest job. I mean, besides, well, hey, come on, you can get us free videos and stuff, hmm? Like, I don't know, maybe you can get me some of those dirty girl-on-girl -girl ones that I'm afraid to take out on my own. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> I really appreciate your sense of humor, Allison. I bet you Donnie didn't. It's just been reported that O.J. Simpson has a gun and is threatening to harm himself. That's as far as things went that night. And for weeks, I was relieved I didn't have to perform intercourse. <laughs> I'm a multimillionaire now, married with three kids of my own. But none of that would have happened if Allison hadn't come back and finally given me a purpose. It was 1994, and I was finally ready to begin my adolescence. <laughs> At least I wouldn't have to go through my wonder years alone. Glenn! Hey, where's Vivica? She just went home. How'd it go? I touched one of her breasts, I think. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Candy box.